What's up? Just looked like Dylan had everything working. Yeah, he he uh, he was outstanding. Obviously, that was it's fun to watch, especially when you think about everything's at stake for both clubs. And everybody's operating, and uh, also to come. You know, he flew in late last night, landed about midnight. You know, so uh, I had to work through a rain delay too. So a lot of things could have been a challenge for him, and he didn't let it be. So strong mentally, that was outstanding. Obviously, what was the thinking? What were were you debating whether to send him out for the ninth? Well, you're you're always debating everything, whether you pinch hit Trumbo for Smith, whether you you know what your batting order is. You debate things. It depends on. Uh, you know, I was going to let him have uh, hitter to hitter, depending on unless he had some deep counts. But no, that stressfulness, you know, it's easy for me to say, but, you know, he, he had some real short innings and felt good physically. He's working on extra days rest. He's working on extra days rest next time. He's worked on you know, physically. He's fine. So I didn't, you know, like I say, a lot of times, a lot of the moves are made for you by the other team. And, you know, I didn't really see anything. I'm sure y'all didn't. That made me think he was, you know, they squared up a couple of balls in the inning before. But, you know, they're, you're also careful about changing the, I don't know, culture karma of a game. And obviously it was pretty good with Dylan in there. It would have been good with Zach in there. Look, you talked about all the things that, that he was had facing, including the rain delay and, the, you know, the death in the family and everything else. The resolve that this, this kid has shown you, how rare is it for somebody this age to be able to be that mentally tough at this level? I don't think a lot of people have been through what Dylan's been through, you know, and to battle back through it. You know, a lot of people, not a lot of people, but sometimes you forget Dylan lost his mother and his grandmother at a young age. And, you know, this is sometimes life forces you to grow up. You know, it's a guy that was as good a high school prospect as a lot of people ever saw and then all of a sudden that's taken away from me with you know elbow surgery and you know you got to make some decisions whether you know you're going to push through it and I you know sometimes it makes us a lot stronger when you get through those things you speak often about him in starts if he loses it for a batter it's not something that carries over in the next when he had that kind of long third inning is that kind of what you're thinking that he's a type of guy who can get around those walks well actually I thought you were going to say after the ninth inning when he hit Cano you know there's a lot of that his presentation and his I talk a lot to the young pitchers about your presentation to the opposition and your you know Dylan obviously wasn't trying to hit him and just reached up for another baseball you know that's you know that's what you can do, control what you can do, and uh, move on. But uh, I don't think Dylan lets the surroundings, whether it's wind, rain, um, tragedy like he had in the family, he, you know, he's got a job to do. He's very professional about it. Was there a point tonight where you thought it might be a special night for him? I mean, that fun single was the only hit they had. He struck out 12. Was was there a point tonight where you kind of thought maybe this this would be a special night? Um, you know, you look at really good hitters that don't look particularly comfortable. I think that's when it kind of makes you think that there's, you know, when he shows ability to throw all his pitches over the plate, and then all of a sudden, third or fourth in, I know he threw a curveball. I know it for striking. I know if I'm in the dugout, I'm going, really? That too? You know, so I used to kind of watch the better hitters and see their, uh, and that, that kind of gave me a, a feel, I think, the second time around the order that he had some pretty competitive stuff. His slider looked like it was working really good tonight, especially at times when he was able to just tie the guys up in knots in certain Well, yeah, he, he had that little 86, 87. Like, well, I don't want to start broadcasting what he's doing, but he's got a lot of different looks. That's why he's able to defend himself on nights when he's not carrying the type of stuff he had tonight. He's got a lot of different – he can manipulate the ball. He's got a good hand. Scoop and Machado just keep trading home runs. I mean, is this something that's kind of really fun to watch for you? Uh, yeah, when we need every one of them, John and uh, Manny are having a lot of fun, and that's always proud for me, and and uh, it's fun to watch them. No questions about a bunt. Good.